Zaka was going to go outside. His family recently moved into this apartment. Because of his modest and quiet nature, it was difficult for Zaka to make new friends at school and in the yard of the house. And his appearance also prevented him from making friends. He himself was fair, haired, a pretty face with blue eyes, but here are the ears, these ears Zaka hated. They stuck out. Zaka was called Dambi the Elephant, Cheberashka, and many other offensive words. The boy often complained in tears to his mom and dad about offensive name, calling of children at school and in the yard. Why did they move at all? In the old house and school, he had friends who did not tease him, who had been friends with him since childhood. And here. All the children are angry, they laugh at him, and when Zaka begins to be shy or angry, his ears turn treacherously red. Why does he have such ears? At school, everyone who sat behind him considered it their duty to painfully slap his ears. Zaka hardly sat in class, holding back tears. Recently, he began to sit at the last desks, but even there he was not given rest. The boys from the last pairs reached out to him and clicked on his ears. Well, Zaka couldn't stand up for himself. His father showed him techniques, talked about how a man should stand up for himself. Well, he couldn't. He was afraid of pain and blood. When they took blood from his finger, he always fainted. Even simple abrasions seemed to him to be fatal wounds. But he had to go to school, and he went there by force. His mother often sent him to the yard, advising him to try to make friends with other children. She did not understand that the children did not react to Zachar in any way. He approached the companies, greeted them, said his name, but all the children did not seem to see or hear him. He tried to join their games of catch-up, blind man's buff, ball, but the children ignored him, as if he did not run with them. And as soon as Zaka caught the ball, one of the guys would come up and take the ball away with the look as if Zaka had stolen the ball from them. It was hard for the boy, he would have been sitting in his room forever. But now it was the holidays and his mother again sent him for a walk and get some fresh air while she cleaned the apartment. The boy reluctantly dressed and went out into the yard. There were a lot of children in the yard and on the playground. There was a group of boys standing near the playground, who often laughed at Zaka, clicked on his ears, and made fun of him. The boys were standing and whispering about something. Here the most important bully of them, Lenka, noticed Zakara. The whole group looked in the direction of the boy, who tried to go somewhere on a bench or swing, just to disappear from the company's field of view. The boys began to whisper even more, giggle and look at Zaka. Yes, I'm telling you, it will be hilarious, we'll shoot another video. Sashka was egging on the company. What kind of legend are you talking about? Lenka asked again. I read it on the website. The Japanese legend about the girl from the gap, the guys burst out laughing. Here are the Japs, they'll come up with nonsense. What makes you think he'll be scared? Vardik asked Sasha. We will tell him our version of the legend, he will trample to watch, and there will definitely be rats or mice there. I give you 100% that this lop-eared one will run out of there with a squeal, and we will take pictures. That's it, agreed. Just don't laugh, or he won't believe us, Lenka looked at the guys, I'll be the one to talk. The company went in the direction of Zaka. The boy, noticing this, tensed up, run away? Then they will definitely call him a coward for the rest of their days and the whole yard, and the school, too. Zaka sat waiting while the guys walked in his direction. What do they want? Will they laugh again? To click on the ears? Zaka felt that his stupid ears were red and burning with excitement. When the boys approached Zaka, the boy pretended to look at his shoes. Great, Zaka looked up, it was the most important in their company, Lyonka, who greeted him. Hi, Zaka answered quietly. Aren't you Zaka? Yes. You, this, forgive us, we were just checking on you, you're new, so we checked. You turn out to be a normal guy, you didn't complain to your parents, you didn't cry. You passed the test. No offense? Lenka held out his hand. Zaka shook it uncertainly. No offense. The guys took turns telling their names, shaking hands with Zaka. Just this. You have to pass the last test and prove that you are not a coward. You're not a coward, are you? Lenka looked attentively at Zaka. No. That's great, we don't need cowards as friends. 
We are friends with those who can be relied upon in difficult times. We passed all this test, proving our courage. Agree? And what kind of test? Vardik chuckled, Lenka looked at him menacingly. I didn't want him to ruin everything. Lyonka began to tell about an alleged local legend. So, we found this girl in this very gap between the house and the concrete fence. And if you look through this crack, you can see it, Lyonka said in a conspiratorial tone. Vardik burst out laughing again. Zaka looked at Vardik questioningly, Lenka gave Vardik a slap on the back of the head. Don't mind him. He's a bit of a jerk. His mother dropped him upside down on the floor as a child. Vardik looked at Lenka offensively, but said nothing. So what should I do? We need to go to this crack and look there. We all did that as soon as I saw her, Lyonka said proudly and puffed out his chest. And then what happens if you see her? Nothing, I saw it and nothing happened to me. But they say that she dragged one boy away, he just disappeared from his room, Lyonka lied further, do you agree? I agree, Zaka really wanted to make friends, he wanted them to stop laughing at him. These boys are the main ones in the yard, they are all a year older than him, and it would be cool to have friends older. The guys in the company moved towards the houses that adjoined the garages. It was between these two houses, near the concrete wall and the wall of the house, that there was a small dark gap. The guys approached the opening, began to push Zaka forward. Come on, go to the fence and look through that crack. Zaka moved deeper into the opening. The opening was narrow, there was all sorts of garbage underfoot and it stank here, apparently. This opening served as a toilet for uncultured people and dogs. The boy's shoulders brushed the walls of the house, he already regretted that he had agreed to this test. The boys were standing at the entrance to the doorway, and Igor was filming on his phone. Why did you call me an idiot? Vardik asked Lenka, offended. Yes, you could have ruined everything, he already began to suspect that we were lying. And you're so he, he da he, he, like a fool, Lenka answered seriously. Vadim did not dare to object to him and resentfully fell silent. Meanwhile, Zaka reached the end of the opening, barely turned around in it to face that very crack. The smell from the crack was even worse than in the doorway. Zaka peered into the darkness through the cracks, but saw nothing but cobwebs. Well, that's enough, he looked, so he passed the test, the boy decided. He began to carefully turn around to get out of the opening. At that moment, a sound came from the crack, the boy carefully turned his head towards the crack and looked again. Was it his imagination or was there something in this darkness? Zaka put his face close to the crack, the boy felt that they were looking at him. He always knew that they were looking at him, boys from the back desks, in the corridors of the school, and now they were definitely looking at him from the dark. Zaka felt uneasy, a pair of eyes appeared in the dark, whites and an absolutely black iris were visible. The eyes stared at the boy without blinking. Zaka began to turn around in the doorway again, this time faster from fear and horror. All this time he felt the gaze of those black eyes on him, a child's voice rang out from the darkness of the crack, shall we play? Zaka froze in horror, his heart froze in anticipation of the terrible, the boy slowly turned his head to the voice, the pale face of a girl with black eyes appeared out of the darkness, shall we play? Zaka could not stand it, shouted and he quickly began to squeeze out of the doorway, tears streaming down his cheeks from fear. The boys were laughing near the opening, already bent over with laughter and filmed a video. Zaka, ignoring them, rushed to run towards his house, the company shouted hurtful words after him and laughed loudly. Zaka ran home hysterically, ran into his room and fell face down on the pillow, sobbing shook the boy, the horror of what he saw did not let go. His mother looked into the room. Zaka, what happened? She sat down on her son's bed, stroked his back, well, baby, calm down. Have you been offended again? Zaka, continuing to cry, just nodded his head. What did they do? Who is it? You can't leave it like that. As mom did not persuade her son to tell about what happened, he refused to talk. He didn't want to be known as a snitch and a sneak. Then he will be even worse teased at school and in the yard. And no one will believe him about the eyes in the cracks. But he saw them. Mom sat with him and hugged him, stroked his head and calmed him, then poured him tea with raspberry jam. Zaka felt a little better, and he told his mother about the legend of the girl from the gap and that he had seen her. Mom listened and didn't interrupt. 
Then she told her son how she and her friends used to scare each other with horror stories about a red hand, a black sheet, a coffin on wheels, a mother gnome, and so on, how they ran out of their hiding places in fear and screaming. From the notion that all this is just stupid horror stories and from the fact that even his mother was also scared as a child, and everything seemed to her and her friends, it became easier for Zaka. He was already laughing himself at his imagination and fright, at the silly legend about the girl. Well, a person, even a little girl, can't get into such a narrow crack. Zaka went to bed no longer feeling any fear. Good night, baby. Mom kissed her son on the cheek. Good night, Mom. Zaka's eyes were already closing. The light of the street lamps cast unusual shadows on the ceiling of the room, and every night before going to bed, Zaka imagined various characters and objects from the shadows, writing stories along the way. So this evening Zaka did not abandon his habit. Does that shadow look like a ship or not, like an airplane? And here is the one on the rock. And then a picture formed, the ship was sailing to the rock, in the cave of which the treasures were hidden. The boy was distracted from his occupation by the creaking of the closet door, which quietly opened, a gap formed about 10 centimeters. The boy sat up on the bed and looked at the closet, most likely his mother had loosely closed the doors. Zaka decided that it was time to fall asleep already, but his attention was attracted by a crack in the closet doors. Well, the door opened and opened. What's the big deal? How many times has it already opened like this? You can get up and close it, Zaka reassured himself, simultaneously remembering and calming himself with funny stories of his mother. A faint rustle was heard from the closet, the boy pulled the blanket up to his chin and began to stare intently at this black gap. There was a rustle again, Zaka peered more closely at the slightly open doors, at the same second he screamed and pressed himself into the pillow, something pale flashed in the darkness of the closet. We need to close the doors. Just get up, quickly run up and close. It is necessary, Zaka persuaded himself, but fear did not allow him to do this. And the dark crack in the closet attracted the boy's gaze like a rabbit's boa constrictor. And then the boy was pierced by another terrible sensation, he felt that from there, from the darkness of the closet, they were also looking at him. Mom. Zaka shouted. His parents came running to his cry. What happened? There's someone in the closet. There's someone looking at me. Look, there's no one here, the father came up and opened the closet doors, moved clothes on hangers so that the son could see for himself and calm down, let me substitute a chair so that the doors don't open, and tomorrow I'll tighten the hinges and lubricate them, then it won't open anymore. Have you calmed down? Mom stroked her son on the head. Yes, dad, get a chair. Of course, baby, the father fulfilled his son's request, also kissed him on the cheek. Do you want us to leave the light on in the hallway? If you can. Of course you can. Good night. Zachar examined the closet, it was tightly closed and propped up by a chair, the light was on in the corridor, all this calmed the boy, and he fell asleep. In the morning, when Zachar woke up, his parents had already gone to work. There was rice porridge and boiled sausages on the stove, all of which my mother had carefully prepared for Zaka. The boy turned on the electric kettle and brewed himself a cup of cocoa. While having breakfast, Zaka decided what he should do today. He definitely won't go outside, neither today nor tomorrow, and most likely all summer. This group of boys, led by Lenka, will definitely laugh at him, and maybe the whole yard already knows what happened. Sitting in the kitchen, Zachar again felt that he was being stared at. The boy tensed, who could look at him in an empty apartment, but the feeling did not pass. The boy began to look around instinctively to understand where he got this feeling. A gap between the floor and the kitchen set caught his attention. Fear gripped the body, from there, from under the headset, it was as if someone was looking at him. Zachar suddenly wanted to get up and run out of the kitchen. He got up and cautiously moved towards the exit, at the threshold he turned around and looked at the dirty dishes left behind. He never left dishes behind him and was proud of the fact that he washed after himself. But this time it will never fit the kitchen set. No. The boy quickly went to his room, locked the door behind him. I needed a distraction. He pulled up a chair to the computer and sat down to play. But even while playing on the computer, the boy did not leave the feeling that he was being watched. It's the feeling of gaze, gaze, and heavy gaze. 
The creak of the closet door opening made Zaka jump in his chair. Zaka decided to protect himself. He opened the chest of drawers and began to take out his things, towels, everything that was there. First of all, he closed the closet and wrapped the doors with shoelaces from sneakers, tying them into several knots. The next step was to plug all the cracks in the room, between the bed and the floor, between the floor and the cabinets, between the floor and the chest of drawers. After examining the room, Zaka nodded satisfactorily and sat down at the computer again. But the feeling of gaze did not pass. Zaka felt that someone was clearly looking at him from the side. He turned his head slowly, exactly. The gap between the cabinet and the wall. He hadn't thought of her. But how to close it? The idea came right away, with the help of paper and tape, Zaka sealed this gap as well. But there were other such places in the apartment, in the same kitchen. But his parents won't let him shut up the whole apartment like that. The boy spent the whole day in the room, not counting one trip to the toilet. This campaign was an attack of a new fear. The bathroom, there was also a gap between the bathtub and the floor, and there was a periodic rustling from there. Zaka almost wet his pants, barely having time to finish things and put on his pants. In the evening, Zaka was terribly glad to see his parents, he felt safe with them. At least the feeling that he was being watched did not go away. But with his parents, the monster, or whoever this girl was from the gap, would not dare to drag him anywhere. Before going to bed, Zaka carefully checked all the places that he plugged in the afternoon and made sure that everything was in its place, and there were no cracks in the room, went to bed with a calm soul. Even this time he did not change his habit of drawing and composing various pictures and plots in his head from shadows on the ceiling. He even cheered up a little, came up with a couple of funny stories when he heard a slight rustling from below. What could it be? Zaka sat up on the bed and tried to figure out where the sound was coming from. And then the boy's gaze fell on the gap between the floor and the closet, or rather on the jacket with which he plugged this space. The rag was slowly disappearing under the closet, someone was pulling it under the closet. Zaka was seized with horror, what is it? He covered his head with a blanket, continuing to hear rustling at the closet. It is not known how long Zaka sat under the blanket, but eventually fell asleep from tension and fatigue. In the morning he quickly looked at the closet, there was no rag between the closet and the floor, the boy again felt the gaze from the darkness of the crack. He quickly jumped out of bed and ran into the hallway, slamming the bathroom door. Today my parents were at home, it was a day off, that's why Zaka was able to go to the kitchen and have breakfast. Then the whole family went to visit their grandparents. On a visit, Zaka received sweet gifts from his grandparents. Everyone was sitting at the table, chatting cheerfully, sharing the news, when Zakar again felt the gaze on him. The boy turned around, as if someone was looking at him from under the sofa in the hall. He felt it and it scared him. Now he wanted to go home faster. Zaka, I got you a bathroom with foam, go and bathe, the mother called her son from the room. Zaka could sit in a bubble bath for a long time, play, fall around. He happily climbed into the warm foam. In the middle of the bathing process, the boy heard a rustle from under the bathroom. We need to get out faster, Zaka decided. He began to get out of the bathroom, foam fell on the tile and the rug, his feet slipped. Taking off the towel, he began to dry himself. A girl's voice came from under the bathroom, the same voice, shall we play? Zaka froze in horror, thin, pale hands stretched out from under the bathroom, grabbed the boy by the legs. Zaka slipped, he couldn't resist, and his hands dragged him under the bathroom. At the son's loud screams, the parents ran into the bathroom, the whole floor was covered in foam. The mother rushed to the bathroom, but there was only water in it, a towel was lying on the floor, and a trace of foam and water led under the bathroom. My father bent down, but there was no one under the bathroom either. The police came, who could not believe the parents that their son just disappeared from the bathroom like that. At first, law enforcement officers decided that the parents themselves got rid of the child, and now they are coming up with tall tales. But the results of interrogations, searches, and psychiatric examinations yielded nothing. The same group of boys gathered in the courtyard, discussing the latest news. We heard that this lop-eared man was never found. Disappeared right out of the bathroom. Vardik spoke in a whisper. Was it sucked into the sewer? Lenka laughed. 
the boys chatted a little more and decided to disperse. I still have to help my father in the garage, he asked me. Come on, see you tomorrow. Lyonka moved towards the garages. Walking along the rows of iron garages, it seemed to the boy that his name was. He stopped, turned around, no one. Lenka, the voice sounded very close and was familiar to Lena. Lenka, I'm here. And then Lyonka realized that it was Zaka's voice, and it was coming from a gap between garages. Lyonka approached the crack. Hey, Zaka? What are you doing here? The whole city is looking for you, you idiot. Get out. Or are you stuck? Lyonka wanted to run for help, but Zaka stopped him. Let's play? Are you crazy? Which one will we play? The two of us are not interested in playing. Will you play with us? Who do you want? Lenka's voice trembled treacherously, but this darkness between the garages attracted him like a magnet. The boy approached the crack and took a closer look. Another voice came from there, girls. Let's play, a pair of black eyes appeared in the dark, then the pale face of the girl began to appear. Lyonka could not stand it, screamed, wanted to run away, but two pale hands emerged from the darkness and grabbed the boy by the shoulders. Lyonka did not want to give up. A second pair of hands emerged from the crack and began to pull the boy into the darkness of the gap between the garages. His father and other few drivers who were in garages came running to the boy's cry. But in place of the boy, they saw only one of his sneakers and nothing else. Lenka disappeared without a trace, just like Zaka. The search for both boys led to nothing. Parents began to be afraid to let go and generally leave their children alone, and there was a legend about a girl among the children. They themselves did not go alone. But the girl from the gap, apparently, was happy with the company of two boys. Where did she take them? Is unknown. According to Japanese legend, she drags to hell or to the other world.